Clarity is a reward for your faith. I didn't have a name for the podcast because I wasn't doing the podcast. Sometimes you feel like you need all the pieces before you can go make the first step. Just do the first thing. That first thing will help you get to the next thing. listening to the unapologetically unstoppable podcast it's about going deep into who you were made to be and following that no matter what where your calling is in the front seat and fear well it's trying to stop you but fuck that guy and getting the tools and tips to become unstoppable i'm your host jeanette peterson where not too long ago, I had to find my calling. Here, you'll hear from me and other online experts on how to discover your calling, the steps to make it happen, and how to monetize it. I believe when we're unapologetic about our calling, we become an unstoppable, expansive force. So let's get started. baby i'm an 80s baby there's a song by george michael called gotta have faith and then i'm also a 90s kid 2000s kid so marilyn manson did a little remix to that song was it marilyn manson i think so and it's like gotta have faith and he's like screaming into the microphone and i hate screaming music it's not it's not a thing for me I don't know why that popped in my head, but let's talk about faith for like five seconds. Okay, maybe this whole podcast. Let's talk about faith for this episode. Yeah. What do you have faith for? You know what I have faith for? Amazon. It's going to come in two days. Well, I don't know. Since post-COVID, two, maybe three days, I got to check it. But I know it's coming, right? I know it's coming. Or I know as soon as it comes out of my bank account, it's on the way. That package is on the way. I know that for a fact. And I also have faith that when I set up my bills for auto auto pay, that they're going to come and get their money. I have faith that they're going to come and get their money every single month. I don't have to worry about it. I set it up once. It's done. do 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 Cha-ching. They got their money. I got my lights. It's, it's very nice. I don't have to worry about it. All I got to do is make sure the money's in there and they do their thing and I get my lights. Done. That's it. But you know what? You know what's hard about faith? God. God is hard about faith. Because... Sometimes I know God can, and I know God will, but I don't know how. And sometimes I gotta wait, right? Sometimes, sometimes I get a little inkling of the how. Sometimes it's like, this is how this is gonna happen. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna happen, but I know. I know. I just gotta know. I'm talking about my aneurysm. I was diagnosed with an aneurysm. I was getting headaches all the time. And they said, that's not where you get headaches, but you do have an aneurysm. We need to check this. You're too young to have an aneurysm. You're not too young to have an aneurysm. People get aneurysm. But the size that it is is concerning, so we want to do another test. Everybody in my life was like, oh, my goodness. What are you going to do? How do you feel? Are you Okay. And I kept telling them the, the whole time, uh, this is not my problem. This is God's problem. God put something on my heart that I'm supposed to do, and if he's going to give me an aneurysm, it's his, it's his job to see this through. It is not my problem. I can't cure an aneurysm, but he can, so this is his problem. This is not my problem. Why do I have to? I'm not worried about this. God's, God told me the big things are going to happen in my life. 
And that's not going to happen if I have an aneurysm. So I have faith that he going to fix it, Jesus. He going to make this happen. Like in the biggest phage voice, fix it, Jesus. He going to do it. They kept asking me like how, what, how I feel. I don't, I don't have any feeling. This is God's problem. This is not my problem. This is too big for me. Not my problem. Period. Dot. Not my problem. They thought I was crazy. They thought that I should be a little concerned. I'm not concerned. Not at all. And then you know what? Praise Jesus. I don't even have an aneurysm. I went and did this angiogram where they shoot a bunch of stuff into your brain to see the dye and like see your veins. It hurt my head. I got a migraine from it. But I don't have a, I don't have one. I don't have an aneurysm. It's not there. It was a malformation of veins that looked like a little tornado, curly cue, and they're going to do more tests, but I don't have an aneurysm because I had faith for it. I'm not saying this is how faith always works. I'm telling you how faith works in my life, okay? I had faith that I didn't have an aneurysm and that if I did have an aneurysm, then this is God's problem. And God said, you actually don't have an aneurysm. I said, I know God. Thank you. I already knew that. I knew that. I believe you. I believe you. I have great faith. I do. I mean, it's sometimes it's hard to explain to other people, but I don't know. I just do. And little by little, I have become more comfortable with not knowing. In the military, I was a control freak. I was the person that knew everything that everybody was doing at the exact time because if something didn't go right, then it was my ass or somebody else's because somebody else was going to get it. If I got it, somebody else was going to get it too. So I knew everything that was happening all the time and I had to. Well, I felt like I had to because I didn't have faith in my people. Honestly, I didn't have faith in them. I didn't have faith that they were going to do the right thing. I didn't have faith that, that they were going to be there. I didn't have faith that they had my best interest in heart. But I don't live that way anymore. Because little by little, the very details, and I'm getting comfortable with the not knowing. Also, I'm going to obey on what I do know in spite of what I don't know. Did you hear me? I'm going to obey on what I do know and in spite of what I don't know. God told me to make a podcast. What are y'all listening to right now? I have no idea. If people keep asking me, how are you going to monetize that? I don't know. I don't know. What about this, this, and this? I don't know. You should SEO it. I probably should, and I know better, but I'm not. I don't know. I'm just not. Because I know that God has a means of keeping his commands, his commandments. And I'm walking in faith on his word, not mine. This is not my word. I did not get this. This did not come from me. This is his word. And I believe in a God that is truthful and keeps his promises. So loving God means keeping his commandments. And just because you've outgrown it doesn't mean you've given it away. What is God asking you to do? Go do it. So the last couple of weeks we've been talking about getting quiet and listening and blocking out the noise. So you need to be able to get quiet to hear what the next step is. And or go back to the last word he gave you. What was that last thing he told you to do? This seems a little crazy that you don't really want to do. You're like, mm, nah, God, I'm skip that one. I'm going to go to the next one. What's the next word you got for me, God? I'm not doing that thing. Mm, not doing that thing. That's what I said. I was like, I'm not doing that thing. God, I'm not making a podcast. And then it was, let me make a podcast by, my, by like with these people and with these people. Hey, you make a podcast with me? Everybody kept telling me no. Because it was supposed to be by myself. So here we are. And now I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. And this obedience clears the space for a miracle, whatever that miracle is. I'm waiting for it. 
I don't know. Do you know how long the Noah was waiting for rain to come? Over a hundred years. I hope God don't make me wait that long. I don't think I that much waiting to me. I'm not that patient. But I will do it because I have faith in God. And the longer I do this podcast, when I first started, I was like, I don't, I don't even know what this is going to be about. I don't even know. And then as soon as I started putting it into motion, that's when I got the name. Clarity is a reward for your faith. I didn't have a name for the podcast because I wasn't doing the podcast. Sometimes you feel like you need all the pieces before you can go make the first step. Just do the first thing. That first thing will help you get to the next thing. So as soon as I started like sitting down and recording, I just recorded something. I was like, all right, I'm just going to start talking. What I think the podcast is going to be about and just let it flow. I kid you not, that night is when I got the the name for the podcast. Unapologetically Unstoppable. Clarity is a reward for your faith. So little by little, the very details will come to you. And you have to get comfortable with not knowing all the things. Just obey with what you do know in spite of what you don't know. Step out. Then find out. You know what I'm saying? You got to step out to find out. I had to step out into the podcasting world to find out the pieces I didn't know. If God said at the very beginning, make a podcast called Unapologetically Unstoppable by yourself, I would have been like, I don't know what any of that means. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But I'd already started stepping in the right direction. That's when he gave me the name. That's why he listens to this podcast. I don't believe in happenstance. That's not a thing for me. I don't believe in that. I believe that you are meant to be listening to this podcast episode right now because there's something that you need to have faith for. Something you need to be stepping out for. Something that he gave you a little piece of the pie of, a little nugget to a little crumb, half a recipe for, and you're not doing the other things. You have to get comfortable with not knowing. Girl, you hear me? You have to get comfortable with not knowing. I know, I know, but I'm a control. Uh, girl, I know you're a control freak. I know you're a control freak. That's why you listen to this, because I'm a control freak too. I got to have all the details. I like doing puzzles with all the pieces. I don't like somebody handing me half pieces, half the puzzle, and I get half the puzzle done, or I'm missing some pieces. I don't like that. That is not fun. So start being obedient so you can get that miracle. Whatever he told you is going to happen is going to happen. God will make you the head and not the tail. Trust me. Well, don't trust me. Trust him. How about that? Trust him. And better is on the way. Oh, my goodness. Now, I know you're ready to take this to the next level. So what you need to do is go to Facebook, join a community of badass, unapologetically unstoppable women at the Unapologetically Unstoppable Community. And you can find me on the grams at Jeanette.Peterson or at Peterson and Bell. This podcast was created by me, Jeanette Peterson and Allison Hartman. Our producer is the Amy Williams. Talk soon.